Hi guys, welcome back. Look at all of this. Um, it's a lot. I obviously shopped the Sephora sale and I have my haul for you guys. It's been a while since I've posted. I'm really sorry about that. I think there has just been a lot going on for me and for the world. So lots of reflection time and all of that. But I'm back and I wanted to keep it light to like keep trying to keep my shopping down to a minimum of like only shopping during the sales and taking advantage of the 20% off or whatever, 15% off. So yeah, let's just get started. I have, um, I placed, like I went in store one time with a friend and then I did place an online order as well just for some like hair care products and stuff. Also, pretty much everything that I bought, I tried to wear today in my makeup so you guys could see it, you know, see it in real life. I've been wearing these products for a few weeks now. I just wanted to repackage them, be like a true haul. So that's what we're doing. First thing, kind of boring. I also got a beauty blender and this beauty blender power pocket puff. This is like the, um, what do you call it? It's kind of just like a, a, a puff for applying powder and there's du it's double-sided. I've been using it already. Uh, I had this a long time ago because I got it like from points or something like that and then I got rid of it and then I used like some puffs from Amazon and honestly this one wins everything. I love this one the most. It's just something about the fibers. I don't know. It's really good. Also got a beauty blender. Kind of boring so I didn't repackage that. Moving on. I also use the sale to buy things that I wouldn't normally buy that like are not a necessity for me and one of those is eyeshadow. I literally, I basically never wear eyeshadow. I'm always wearing pretty much my bronzer as shadow and sometimes liner. So I got this Makeup by Mario Master Matte and this is the original one. I know that they had like a cool toned one but I don't think that would suit me very well. So I got this one and I've been using like some shades. I put on like one shade all over my lid today. I have no clue how to do good eyeshadow. So I'm learning for sure. Love it. I've been using the black and the brown a lot as like kind of almost filling in my lash line to make it look a bit fuller. And then the other ones is shading. I think it's perfect like if you don't want to use shimmer, it's like a great eyeshadow palette. Um, and it's also really pigmented, easy to use, easy to blend, all of that. Two powders. So I got two uh, like baking setting powders. I have the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. I've already had this in pound cake and I used it all the way up. I also had a sample. So I've used up two. This is my third one. Uh, it's worth it. It's really good. It's really, really blurring, really brightening and helps makeup last forever. Like it lasts so long with this stuff. So I love it. Um, so good. Yeah, even it has like instructions on the back. That's so cute. But this is like the best baking powder ever um, if you haven't tried it, but it is expensive. So great time to get it. It's the Sephora sale. And again, I got the color Pound Cake. And I think this works well when I'm pale, works well when I'm tan in the summer. So I really like it. and. I am for sure in my pale era right now. <laughs> Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. So this baby is actually pretty brightening for being translucent. Got this one, it's very finely milled, very beautiful and natural. I have recently been doing like more natural makeup just to work and stuff and um, day to day. And I've been using the Chantecaille foundation, which is not in this haul because it's not Sephora, but that stuff is amazing. I have the shade Alabaster. It's like my winter shade and I've been using this with it and it just looks so magical and natural and good and like healthy. Like I also love a lot of makeup, but for a natural look, that is the combo. Moving on. Okay. I also got from another Huda item. I got the Huda faux filter color corrector. I got the shade peach, so I probably could have gotten a lighter shade, but it, it works out as long as I'm using like a fuller coverage concealer. But I've been using this for like dark circles and darkness kind of on my chin area, and I think it's working. Someone, one of you lovely beauties on one of my shorts videos recommended it to me, and I've 
bought it. I was like, why not? And it's honestly amazing. It sits so well under concealer and doesn't look cakey. I, I can't, sometimes my makeup is looking a little bit too gray with my concealer and it just throws the whole look off. So that has really, really helped to offset the grayness for sure. Glass, we all love it. So I got this cutie little hourglass ambient strobe lighting powder and this one's in Brilliant Strobe Light. The packaging is so cute. I have been so excited to try this. It's been on my wish list forever. So now that I finally, I'm like wiping it for you guys, sorry. It's the most exciting thing ever. So here it is. It's basically like a very, very finely milled powder highlight, but it's almost like, it's like a barely there kind of glow. So you, it's not really like a, I mean, you can barely see it, but it adds luminosity, especially if you're wearing like matte makeup and you wanna have full coverage, but then you want to bring glow back into your face. This is it, so good. And I've basically just been putting it like all over, like I'm like shining all over, it's this stuff all over my face after I do setting spray and it's been beautiful. And I don't, sometimes on a natural day, I'll use this like on its own as highlighter, but then normally I will like layer it as, layer it with an actual highlight on my cheeks. So, love it. Next, I, okay, kind of random. I'm just taking a break from makeup, I guess. I grabbed something random. I got the Nest Lychee Rose fragrance and I got the travel size. I. First of all, it just kind of randomly smelled this when I was in the store, and I have to say, it is so delicious. I mean, it really is kind of simple. It's lychee and rose, but the way that they're blended is so, so good, and I love, I've love. i been loving scents like this recently, just taking a break from the vanilla because I've been wearing it for so long, and this is amazing. I will say it's not long-lasting, though. Like, if they could make this in a long-lasting extreme version, I would die. I would love that. It's not too florally. It's very sweet, sparkling. It almost has kind of like a like a body spray sort of vibe to it. Like it feels almost like a body spray but heavier. Like that's how fruity and light and sparkling it is. So it's really good. I almost bought the full size of this like during the Sephora sale after trying the travel because it was that good. Like oh, you can't see. But I have used a bunch of this already. But I decided to not get it uh, because I have other perfumes I need to get through first. But this is really good and I would like to put this in my full size wish list. Last two items in this and we'll move on to like my online package. So I got two brow products. I was not necessarily planning on buying these but I tried them in store while I was waiting for my friend to get foundation matched and I was like, wait, why does this look so good? I have them on today. Um, I'm kind of going for the soap brow, gelled brow look for fun, and this is how I achieved it. So I got the Refi Brow Tint, and I've heard good things about like the clear one, but I also heard that it gets a little bit um, like white, kind of like white casty or whatever. So I got medium brown, the colored one instead, and this stuff works really like really well, almost too well at gelling your brows. Like it is slick. Look at that. It's really, really sticky, but in the best way possible. And the packaging is really cute. So this is really good stuff. I love it. The Kosas Brow Nano, Brow Pop Nano, because I got in dark brown because of how fine the pin is. I really wanted a brow pencil that has like a super, super fine tip to do like hair-like strokes. And this is exactly it. It's double-sided with the spoolie, and then there it is. It's so small. So small. The one thing I will say is that if you notice, kind of like, let's say you have to fill in the tail of your brow or something, this is not matte, and it's very shiny. So when you're kind of turning your head, you see the shine, and that makes it look more unnatural, and that I do not like. So if anyone knows a matte brow pencil that I can purchase after this one that's also very thin, let me know because that is one thing I would change about this for sure. To my boxes, or my box, whatever. I got the new Patrick Ta So, okay, I don't have a foundation. That was my main dilemma. I don't have a foundation that matches my skin tone for the winter. And all the ones I did have were turning like, 
either super yellow on me or super pink and just did not match my neck, my skin tone and all that. So today I am wearing the new Patrick Ta Major Skin Hydra Lux Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundation. So very, very long name. This has been kind of gaining traction online and my friend honestly was the one who put me onto this because I didn't know I was going to get the Giorgio Armani or the House Labs, but I got color matched for this and also Giorgio Armani and this ended up being the best match. And the finish I would say is super similar to Luminous Silk, but maybe a slightly more dewy I would say. But if you have like an olive skin tone, this is honestly great. It's not, this is not even their olive shade, it's the shade 8 Golden, but it looks really good and I, you can't even tell the difference between my face and my neck which like almost never happens to me. I always have like a mask on. Um, so yeah, this is great and this is like perfect for my winter foundation. I love it and I have it on right now. And you would think like it looks tanner being called 8 golden but it doesn't. It's actually pretty pale. But Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I got two things to go together. I got their kilowatt, no, yeah, kilowatt highlighter and this one is in Moscow Mule and Ginger Binge. So famous right now. I think it's it's really pretty and ah, if you know me, you know I love like orangey peachy tones and uh, terracotta. Those sort of tones over pink and this is exactly that. It's beautiful. I have it on today. I don't know if this is like yeah, these are supposed to both be highlighters. I use them kind of as like highlight blush combo. So that's what's on my cheeks right now. Like this has color to it. This is almost like a very, very glowy blush. And I, I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Like it is, nothing makes me happier than putting this on. And I love it. I love it. Um, I was scared though about the pigmentation. So I ended up getting this brush to go with it since it's like made for it. It's the... Fenty, I don't know, Mega Plush Silhouette All Over Setting Brush. I've been using this for the highlight because I just like putting a big chunk of it on my cheek and it looks so good. These are awesome, probably like one of my favorite things in this haul. Hair care products, I've really been trying to pare down my hair care routine and I mean everything, but specifically and especially my hair care routine, I just want to have more simplicity with it and not have to deal with a million products and I really I think I'm narrowing it down so color wow does it again I love color wow so this is the extra large bombshell volumizer voluminizer this is like mousse for your blow dry I will say I think something's wrong with the pump on mine it's really annoying to sprout like to pump out I don't know what is going on with that but Anyways, besides that, I do like this a lot. I'll put it in my roots. I'll put it in my ends. Roots for lift, ends for hold. So good, especially when I'm doing like a Dyson blowout because those things never last and this helps it to last really, really well. So yeah, this is good stuff. And then this is the Color Wow Dream Coat. I got the big one finally because I've gone through like three bottles of the regular size. So might as well get the big one. This is just great for being like an all around heat protectant and giving your hair like a nice glossy sheen and protecting um, against like humidity and frizz and all that. So this is great. Next, so this I actually did not order. It just came with my order. So I'm sure that they put that in there by accident, but you know what? I'll take it. I love Amiga. This is the smooth over fizz fighting, fizz fighting. I can't talk smooth over frizz fighting treatment and honestly i need this for when i wear my hair naturally curly because it gets really frizzy so that's exciting it's like a 60 second in shower rinse so that sounds amazing and smell is the the typical amica smell which i love so yes that was officially the end of my like big things i actually purchased from the sephora sale but i did for fun I want to show you guys the samples that I got from online because I feel like that's always like fun for me. And if you don't like that, you can go ahead and leave the video now. But if anyone wants to see the samples, stick around. So let's go through them. Okay, we'll just start with the fun like fragrance. Oh no, I think I, yeah, I think this was a, like you could get this for free or something with your order. It was like a code. It's the My Way by Giorgio Armani perfume. It's so cute and teeny weeny. Um, it's. I don't know, you know, it's not my fave. It's a little mature. I've 
I've seen a lot of people say they love it, but to me it smells like very white floral and I'm not a huge fan of white floral, but we got it. Then I got the Makeup by Mario Surreal, Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer, yeah, um, samples, which is good, which is good. I haven't tried it yet, um, but I'm probably light or light medium, so we'll see. And the Valentino Foundation, I've not heard any reviews or anything about this, and it has sunscreen in it, so that's fun. Okay, next, the Josie Moran Body Butter in Vanilla Vibes. I think this was also a like a promo code or like points thing, I think, but I don't know. I'm excited to try this. I'm going to open this tonight for my shower and I'll use it. I love vanilla. Sounds delicious. Okay, a few more things and I'll stop holding you hostage. Um, I got the, they sent me this Dior Potent Serum sample, two of them, which is nice. Weightless Touch Foundation, who I also heard this was good. So that's exciting. I can't wait to try that out. And then a little Burberry Her sample of perfume, which I love this fragrance, so I'm gonna put that in my bag for sure and use that up. And then the cutest little like points thing you could get, or not points, um, kind of like, it was like a, a promo code or whatever to your cart. Again, it's the Valentino Spiked Matte Lipstick. It's like a baby one. I haven't worn lipstick in forever, but this one is in, I guess, Spike. I guess that's the color, or 134R. It's like a nice mauve berry shade. I don't know if I put that on correctly, but that's the shade. And that concludes my Sephora haul for 2024. But anyways, with that, um, you know, engage with me in the comments. I miss you guys. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.